why should you be trained? To not only keep your client safe, but to keep you safe as well. Workers in the healthcare industry sustain 4.5 times more injuries from overexertion than any other type of work. There are 35,000 back and other injuries among healthcare employees each year. Moving and lifting clients is the number one cause for these injuries. Proper training can help reduce injuries. A study compared the number of patient handling injuries before and after receiving a safe patient handling and movement program. After employees were trained, results showed that the injury rate went down by 50%. This video will instruct you on safe techniques to maneuver a wheelchair and transfer clients from a wheelchair. When performing these techniques, always keep in mind proper body mechanics, such as maintain a wide base of support, have your feet spread apart to balance, bend at your knees, not at your waist, Keep your back arched. Use larger muscle groups, such as your shoulders, hips, and thighs. Keep your client close to you. And always remember to breathe. How to safely maneuver a wheelchair. A tip to remember when going downhill. When going down steep ramps, it may be safer for you to guide the wheelchair backwards as you stand behind it. This way, you can ensure that you will not lose control of the chair you can more easily hold the weight of the chair using your whole body rather than just your arms and the client won't fall forward. Be sure to look behind you first. A tip to remember when guiding a wheelchair down a curb or step if no ramp is provided. Stand behind the wheelchair so that you are pulling it, not pushing it. Look behind you first. Slowly begin to pull the wheelchair toward the curb. Once you reach the curb, press your body using the side of your hip and your upper leg against the chair and gently guide the back wheels down over the curb. Once the front wheels reach the edge of the curb, carefully tilt the wheelchair slightly backwards while supporting the weight of the chair with your body, once again using your hip and upper leg. Slowly lower the front wheels. A tip to remember when guiding a wheelchair up a curb or step if no ramp is provided. Push the wheelchair forward until the front wheels touch the curb. Carefully tilt the wheelchair backwards so the front wheels are above the curb. While tilting the chair back, press your body using your hip and upper leg against the chair to support the weight of the client. Be sure to bend your knees and keep your back straight as you slowly push the wheelchair forward. Before any transfers, make sure to check for the following. Wheels are locked. Wheelchair is in the most efficient, closest position to the surface usually at an angle between 60 to 90 degrees. Client's strong side, if possible, is nearest to the surface where she is being transferred. Arm and leg rests are removed and out of the way. Client scoots as forward as she can to the edge of the chair. Communication with your client. Always be aware of your client's feelings. When first working with a client, ask her if she needs help rather than assuming that she does. Individuals in wheelchairs may be more independent than they may appear. When performing transfers, first explain the procedure step-by-step -step to your client, including what you will be doing and what she will be doing. Count to three in order to ensure the client is aware of when you will be performing the transfer. After the transfer, ask your client if she felt any pain or discomfort. When helping your client scoot forward to the edge of the wheelchair, place your left hand on your client's right shoulder blade and your right hand on your client's left hip. Lean your client forward to the right as you scoot the left hip forward. Then switch sides. Place your right hand on your client's left shoulder blade and your left hand on your client's right hip. Lean your client forward to the left and scoot her right hip forward. 
Continue this pattern until the client is at the edge of the chair. Four common types of transfers are used when safely transferring a client from a wheelchair. Lateral transfer, two-person lift transfer, squat pivot transfer, and stand pivot transfer. Lateral transfer is used with a client who cannot stand independently and cannot bear any weight on her lower extremities. This is used for anyone that needs maximum assistance, or in other words, needs 75% of help or more. This transfer can also be performed using a sliding board if one is available. When performing a lateral transfer, station the wheelchair at a 90 degree angle to the surface where the client is being transferred, or in other words, have one side of the wheelchair next to the surface so there is no gap in between the two surfaces. This way you can smoothly slide your client. The armrest nearest to the surface where the client is being transferred must be removed. Place your feet on the outside of your client's feet. This way your client's legs are in between your legs, allowing you to fully support her legs during the transfer. Bend your knees and arch your back as you place your hands on your client's hips using her pants or belt. Lean your client over your shoulder closest to the surface where she is being transferred. With the client's weight shifted forward, there is little weight to slide during the transfer. Count to three and rotate your client's hips by sliding her to the other surface. Similar to the lateral transfer, a two-person lift transfer is also used with a client who cannot stand independently and cannot bear any weight on her lower extremities. It is also used for anyone that needs maximum assistance or needs 75% of help or more. This transfer is used when armrests on the wheelchair cannot be removed. It is also important to use this type of transfer when the client's weight is too heavy for one person to safely transfer the client alone. When performing a two-person lift transfer, have one person stand behind the wheelchair and the other person should stand at the front of the wheelchair by the client's legs. The person behind the wheelchair should be the person in charge who will voice the instructions and count to three before the transfer. If you are this person, instruct the client to cross her arms as you reach under the client's shoulders and through her arms to grab each forearm. Be careful not to grab the client's wrists. Hug the client close to you so your grip feels secure. Make sure your feet are apart, making a wide stance. Be sure to bend your knees and arch your back. The other person should pick up both of the client's legs from the side in a cradle arm position with your body facing the mat. Make sure to also bend your knees and arch your back. And on the count of three, slowly lift the client and gently place her down. The person behind the client should continue supporting her trunk as she slowly lies down. Squat pivot transfer is used with a client who can bear little weight on her lower extremities but cannot stand independently. This transfer is used for someone who needs moderate assistance or someone who needs 26 to 50% of help. When performing a squat pivot transfer, station the wheelchair at a 60 to 90 degree angle to the surface where she is being transferred. The armrest nearest to the surface of transfer must be removed. Just as the lateral transfer, place your feet on the outside of your client's feet. This way your client's legs are in between your legs, allowing you to fully support her legs during the transfer. Bend your knees and arch your back as you place your hands on your client's hips using her pants or belt. Lean your client over your shoulder closest to the surface where she is being transferred. With the client's weight shifted forward, there is little weight to pick up during the transfer. Count to three and slightly lift your client to a squatting position as you rotate her hips and shift her weight to the other surface.
stand pivot transfer is used with a client who can bear some weight on her lower extremities but cannot stand independently. This transfer is used for minimal assistance or someone who needs less than 26% of help. When performing a stand pivot transfer, station the wheelchair at a 60 to 90 degree angle to the surface where she is being transferred. Your client may choose to use the armrest to help her push off of to stand. Position your client's feet so that she is given a wide base of support. Place your feet on the outside of your client's feet in case your client needs additional support against her legs. Bend your knees and arch your back as you place your hands on your client's hips using her pants or belt. Your client can place her hands around your shoulders using you for additional support. On the count of three, slowly help your client stand up and carefully walk her back towards the surface where she is being transferred. Think of this transfer as a slow dance between you and your client as you both together slowly move your feet. Make sure your client feels the chair against the back of her legs. Have her reach back with her arm to feel the chair and slowly sit her down. If your client has a weaker arm and leg on one side, and in this example it will be the client's right side, but she can still support enough of her weight on one leg to stand, you will be performing this stand pivot transfer. Station the wheelchair at a 60 to 90 degree angle to the transfer surface. Make sure the client is transferring nearest to her strong side, and in this case it is her left side. Your client may choose to use the armrest to help her push off of to stand. Keep your client's weaker arm tucked in against her stomach so that it does not get caught during the transfer. She can use her strong arm to hold her weak arm in place or she can place it on your shoulder for additional support. Position your client's feet so that she is given a wide base of support. Place your feet on the outside of your client's feet. Be sure that your knee is positioned in front of the client's weak knee to keep the knee from buckling. Bend your knees and arch your back as you place your hands on your client's hips using her pants or belt. On the count of three, slowly help your client stand up. Continue to press your knee against her weak knee in order to help move her weaker leg as you carefully walk her back towards the transfer surface. Make sure your client feels the chair against the back of her legs have her reach back with her arm to feel the chair and slowly sit her down.